Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the reselling shop. I am Chris, the old school picker. I'm getting ready to shut down my eBay store and it's going to absolutely destroy my eBay sales. Stay tuned and I'll tell you why. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the shop. I am Chris, the old school picker. I go around estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, wherever I can find stuff for cheap, buy it for cheap, hopefully. Put it in the shop, list it on platforms like eBay and whatnot. That's what this channel is all about. If you have not subscribed, I sure would appreciate it. Uh, just went over 7,000 subs a while back, and I would really love to get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year, but I think that's probably a stretch maybe if i keep going at the rate i'm going i should get around 8,000, maybe 8,500, somewhere in that range by the end of the year if i continue on the pace i'm on right now anyways thank you guys for being here a uh, lot going on in the shop today crazy crazy weekend uh spent yesterday working in my garage trying to get the rest of the death pile out and i'm working on getting the rest of the death pile out of the shop and my goal is to just bring in one or two ikea bags every week list those items and everything else be out of here that's not listed that's my goal uh i've got the garage like i want to say 95 percent probably of the death pile out and in here it's just those three shelves what you see on the floor and, that, and a lot of that's recent pickups and that's the reason that's in here but we do have a few orders going out today. Wasn't the greatest weekend by no means, by no means. But we got uh, like 13 orders going out in this video. So I'm happy about that. But before we get started pulling orders, I want to give a special shout out to three new members. John Winters the second. Uh, that's all the information I have. I don't know if that's what he wanted on his shelf or not. But that's when you sign up on YouTube. For the shelf membership send me a message uh leave it in the comments of a video or something about what you want on your shelf because this is all through google all through youtube i have no control over this uh the money goes to youtube and then youtube sends me my part the five dollar membership i don't get all of the five dollars youtube youtube or google takes their cut as well so shoot me a message on instagram or facebook or something under old school picker or the easiest way really for me to see it the earliest is just to leave a comment hey i signed up for the channel membership under john winters the second but on my shelf i won't but until then john winters the second will be on the shelf and that may be what he wanted but thank you so much john i appreciate it either way also, Woody's Comic Chest, uh, whatever YouTube account you sign up under, that's the name I'm going to get. So if you signed up under your YouTube account name, uh, just regular name like Woody's Comic Chest, that's what's going to be on your shelf unless you tell me different. So Woody's Comic Chest, thank you so much. I sure do appreciate it. And our good friends over at the RIN, Reseller Information Network. Thank you so much, Eric, Leroy, Tim, and Chris Cernock. I appreciate you guys' membership and also your support. And looking forward to seeing those guys uh, soon here in the next week or so because the 127 is coming up. And three of the four are coming to the 127 and also the meetup. And that's kind of somewhat of the topic that I want to talk about that I talked about in the intro. We're going to pull a few orders then we'll talk about the topic. First things first, though, I'm going to go back here and turn on the OAC because it's warm in the shop this morning. And also, turn on the fan, and hopefully that won't be too much noise for you guys. Uh, it's in the background, so maybe not. Anyways, uh, 13 orders going out for 448, so almost 450 bucks. 13 orders, not bad. I'll take it. And the first one going out, it's Kathy time. G21. Oh, I've got some more mail from Kathy too. Stay tuned at the end of the video and I'll talk about that as well. But Kathy, a viewer, a friend, it's Kathy time. 
uh, adoptive fa family member. She sent me all this craft stuff and so much more. So I appreciate it, Kathy. It's this guy right here. Gel press, gel printing plate. Who makes this? I'm not even sure. A lot of the stuff Kathy sent me was stamping up, but she sent me some other craft stuff too. And I'm not even sure who makes this. Gel press maybe, I guess. Anyways, not really sure even what it is. But Kathy will tell me in the comments. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that because I don't know what some of this stuff is. I just know how to look it up and sell it, right? Anyways, I did take a best offer on this one for 12 bucks plus shipping. So thank you so much, Kathy. All right, next order going out. Stay tuned to the end of the video because Kathy sent me the sweetest thing she's ever sent me. And you guys know how much good stuff she sent me. But this one was... Uh, all her packages are heartfelt, but this one may may have may be the winner for sure. It's uh, about made me choke up on the old card she sent me. So stay tuned, and I'll read the card and show you what she sent me. But this next item going out is on our good friend Picking Hoosier Chef. Picking Hoosier, I appreciate it, guys. Recently went through the channel members and uh, updated a bunch. I try to go through it every few weeks, but sometimes it's every few months. <laughs> so anyways, it's a lot to keep up with. You guys don't even realize. I didn't realize when I first started it. Uh, vintage Panasonic RS-600 US Vintage Cassette Player Deck Tested and Working. It does have masking tape on it. I tried to clean some of it off, but well, it was more effort than I wanted to put into it. But this did end up selling. I bought this at a church sale not too long ago uh bought it for two bucks yeah two bucks and i tested it somewhat and the tape player rewound and fast forward and played i didn't have speakers to hook it up with but it didn't eat the tape <laughs> so i think it works anyways this one ended up selling good price 49.99 plus shipping good deal all right next item c21 c21 it is another one of these music books. Oh boy, where is it at? I love selling these, uh, especially if I pick them up for like a quarter, and that's usually about what I pay for them. Brad Paisley's Greatest Hits. Uh, C Shelf is not sponsored, but we'll talk about a C. Our good friend Caffeinated C. Christy, so thank you so much. Probably know Christy longer than I've known anybody that watches my channel. It would be between her, Matt, Phoenix Flippers or uh, Rosilla Realm or the guys at Reseller Information Network. I've probably known those four groups uh, longer than I've known anybody on YouTube, probably. Probably Christy, though. I've known Christy forever, it seems like. Brad Paisley, Greatest Hits, Piano, Vocal, Guitar, Hal Leonard, Sheet Music, Book, Book, Book. I love selling these things. Uh, they sell for decent money. They're long tail. I mean, you kind of have to wait on them. But when you pick them up for a quarter, and I sold this one for $14.99 plus shipping, to me it's worth it. Not bad. All right, we'll pull this one more order and then we'll talk about our topic. And I almost made the topic about these right here because uh, I have three different Barbies going out today. And I was like, what in the world is going on? Why am I just all of a sudden selling Barbies again? It's crazy. I didn't even realize I had so many Barbies left, but I do have a few left from the Barbie haul I made last year. Most of them sold pretty quick, but I do have a few left. And I sold three this weekend. I was like, that is, that's crazy. And this one is on our good friend, Laura Chef, LKG329 Sales, Laura looking forward to finally meeting laura uh at the 127 meetup hosted by myself and caleb over at two old guys reselling podcast picking the plateau keep your eyes out i have plans to make a video of the meetup and put it over on the two old guys reselling podcast channel that's that's my plan plans can change uh, but why are barbie selling so much right now for me the barbie movie came out right and that's that's got to be why i sold three of them this weekend all three of them international buyers i bet i sold 50 percent of these to international buyers so if you're going to sell barbies make sure you turn on international shipping 
Birthday Wishes Barbie First in Series 1999 Collector's Edition Mattel. Uh, box is not perfect, not great. Barbie is brand new, never been out of the box, in great shape. This one ended up selling $14.99 plus shipping, but the total order was $49.44, including the shipping, because these things are big, bulky, and heavy. This one weighs pound and a half without any packaging so probably I might get it in at three pounds I'll try but $14.99 plus ship all right in my opinion eBay's been working better in the last uh, I'll say two months than it has in the last 12 months <laughs> my opinion only right uh, everybody's experience is different for sure but my opinion my eBay has been working better the last two months than it has in the previous year uh saying all that i'm getting ready to destroy my ebay sales i know it's coming i know it's going to happen i hate to do it but i really don't have a choice because i am getting ready to hit the 127 sale wide open i'll probably yard sale go yard selling uh probably nine out of the next 10 days something like that eight out of nine nine out of ten something like that i'll probably start thursday thursday friday saturday uh, i won't i won't yard sell sunday more than likely uh but then monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday so nine out of ten days <laughs> that's my plan Ah, oh, yes, I am looking forward to it. I love it, uh, but it's exhausting. You go, you go yard selling, and when I say go yard selling, I mean early morning to late afternoon a lot of days, and even up until dark, the closer it gets to the official start, which is the, th the next Thursday of the 127 sale. So, yeah, these first four or five days, it won't be all day events for sure. But as you get closer to the official start of it, it'll be from 7, 8 o'clock in the morning to 7, 8 o'clock that night. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Plus, I got the meetup in between all that, too, somewhere. So, August 4th. So, I'm excited about it, but I'm going to put my eBay store on vacation mode. I don't have a choice. Uh, last year, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I think I may have extended the handling time out a little bit. Um but i think i tried to ship all that week but this year i'm just not going to do it i'm not going to do it i'm i'm going to put my store on vacation mode extend the handling time and it's going to tank my sales but it'll keep me from having to worry about it while i'm out sourcing and shopping and also meeting up with a bunch of great people that i'm excited to meet up with again this year so i hate to do it but i know it's going to destroy my sales my question is when you put your store on vacation mode, why do you? Why are you still responsible for shipping? That makes exact. That makes absolutely no sense. That's another one of those things that eBay does that makes no sense to me. Uh, so you have to go on there and change your handling time too, because if you sell something on vacation mode and you have whatever shipping you have on it, whether it be one same day, one day, two days, you still have to ship that item out makes no sense to me i'll never understand it but so i'm going to put it on vacation mode and then go in and bulk edit all my handling time on all my items probably up to like 10 days to be honest with you i don't know why you have to do it that way though but it makes no sense somebody explain that to me in the comments <laughs> But I'm excited about the Highway 127 sale, but I do hate to shut my store down. Uh, my items will still be available, but obviously I won't be shipping them out. And uh, it will put a, it does, I think it hurts you in the search rankings for sure when you're on vacation mode. Maybe not, I have nothing to prove that, but I believe it will. So I expect my sales over the next two weeks to just be absolutely horrible. Saying all that, this is probably the last what sold i may get another one more in uh wednesday maybe we'll see but this is probably the last what sold video i'm going to do for a few weeks uh i'm going to try to get some highway 127 footage out i'm going to try to get the reseller meetup footage out although it'll be on the two old guys reselling channel reselling podcast channel um so if you did just recently sign up for the channel memberships or if you've been around for a long time on the channel memberships 
you're probably not going to see your name for a while because I'm not going to be in the shop working, not going to be in the shop making videos. I'm going to be out sourcing and making sourcing yard sale, garage sale videos over the next few weeks. So be patient with me. I will be back in the shop in a few weeks. I may get one more out Wednesday. I don't know yet. It just depends on when I decide to put my store on vacation mode, honestly. So I'm not sure yet, but if I do one more or if I do any more videos, what so videos in the shop, it'll only be one more for a few weeks. So be patient with me, stay tuned, and uh, check out my yard sale videos coming up because my yard sale videos, garage sale videos, Highway 127 videos, they always do really good. So excited to make those, but not excited to be shutting my eBay store down for two weeks because I don't really, it's really going pretty good right now. So I don't want to shut it down because I, 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 I have fears of what it's going to do not only for the next two weeks but what it's going to do for the next two months <laughs> i hope not but i really don't have a choice so that's that's what i'm going to do but it's going to destroy tank my sales for sure but what do you do right yeah i can't be in two places at once all right let's pull a few more orders all right next order going out now this was a good one c20 i just bought this the other day i paid up for it see it's this guy right here i paid up for it but i thought it would be a quick sale and i thought it, i could still make some decent money we'll talk about our good friend over at five dimensional enterprises and that is our good friend steve so steve i appreciate you so much uh thank you so much for your membership but everybody go check out his ebay store five with a dash dimensional enterprises thank you so much steve i sure do appreciate you my friend Steve is a good guy. Blizzard, The Art of World of Warcraft, Shadowland Collector's Edition hardcover book. I paid 10 bucks for this. <laughs> 10 bucks. It was at a, it was a weird, they called it an estate sale, but uh, I don't know. It was kind of more of a yard sale to me. But I heard her say, we're not taking anything less for it today. If you want to get a better deal come back tomorrow and we might work with you well if we come back tomorrow chances are this book won't be there they didn't have a ton of stuff like this but they had a few pieces this world of warcraft man it's it's good stuff this uh i don't know what you want to call it role-playing game stuff rpg uh, to me it kind of borders on the japanese anime type stuff but i don't think it's really the same i think it's more rpg stuff anyways this book i looked it up and couldn't find many and the ones i did find were new this one is not new but they were selling for 70 80 bucks new i was like mm, 10 bucks that's more than i want to give i'd love to have got it for five but i was like i'm not even gonna fool with it i'm just gonna buy it list it and it's so quick i thought it would and it ended up selling for 49.99 plus shipping so 10 into 50 not bad being that i probably had it for two weeks at the most all right c21 i am all over the sea shelf today i just picked this up a few weeks ago too and i grabbed it and it was 50 cents and i was like does that have any value and sure enough when i looked it up it did and we'll talk about our good friend jamie jamie and then c so thank you so much jamie a channel member thank you uh jamie from north carolina jamie's been with me for a long time too so thank you so much jamie gpaa claims club membership mining guide and i was shocked because this is an older guide i was like that ain't gonna have no value and i looked it up real quick because i you know i don't see gold mining anything in tennessee a whole lot and i was like eh? it might have some value and i looked it up and i was like wow okay and it was listed for around 20 bucks so i listed mine for 19.99 plus shipping and it sold and it sold quick i think i've had this for about two or three weeks as well so 20 bucks 50 cents into 20 bucks that's not bad either all right k8 another barbie i didn't realize i still had so many barbies left to be honest with you and it's on our good friend lizette shelf not barbie but new england betty boop Oh, I love this girl. She is so, so supportive of 
the reselling community, New England Betty Boop, go check out her eBay store and her YouTube channel. I'm sorry, YouTube channel, New England Betty Boop. If you're not friends with Lizette, you're missing out because, man, she is she is just a wonderful person. This is a tough Barbie to sell, but international sale international buyers i don't i don't know they must not have access to barbies at every local walmart like we do because they sell internationally like crazy mattel millennium princess barbie doll with the keepsake ornament from the year 2000 uh y2k gonna destroy the world right <laughs> who remembers that that seems like so long ago it was 23 years ago wow that's crazy don't seem like that long ago anyways this one ended up selling for $19.99 plus shipping plus international shipping $52.79 total order that's not so to me all right next item it's Ivan time Ivan a friend of viewer and adoptive family member <laughs> he sent me this and it's on our good friend Tara's vintage treasure shop shelf so thank you so much Tara I sure do appreciate you but about a year ago, Ivan sent me a bunch of stuff. And one of the things he sent me was this Nylant truck. Nylant uh, Pro Tour, event, uh, Pro PGA Tour. Vintage, easy go, 1994 SUV, 4x4 truck toy. And I did take a best offer on this one. It's in fairly decent shape. It's got a little bit of a rust spot right there. But I love selling Nylant trucks. And this one sold for five bucks plus shipping. Thank you very much, Ivan. It's Kathy time. G24. One of these papers going out. Which one is it? Let's see. Kathy, a viewer, a friend, a family member, once again sent me all this stamping up craft stuff. And I guess it's going to be. I didn't think it was the sunflowers. I thought it was like Christmas. Oh, it's that one. That one right there. Thank you so much, Kathy. Night before Christmas, six by six paper. 48 sheets of six by six paper. <laughs> this stuff amazes me every time I say it. I know I say it every time, but it amazes me. Somebody spent $14.99 plus shipping on six, uh, 48 sheets of six by six paper. So thank you so much, Kathy. I sure do appreciate you. All right, next order going out is this guy right here. It's pretty cool. Came from my guy. I uh, sold some of these action figures the other day. Micronauts action figures by Mego. This is a Warp Racer. That is the name of it. Warp Racer. Vintage, 1978. You're supposed to push it, the tires, push the tires, you know, push it across the uh, floor. And this right here spins. That right there does not work anymore so it's non-working but anyways even in that condition i believe it's missing the rubber on the front tires too although all of them i looked at i didn't see any of them listed on ebay that had rubber on the front tires so maybe it don't i don't know this is before my time right here uh this one ended up selling for 14 bucks plus shipping it's in fairly good shape the stickers are still there um makes a great display piece actually so 14 bucks plus it. All right, next item, another Barbie. Man, I'm glad to be getting rid of these Barbies. I didn't realize I had so many left. It's on our good friend, Timmy Shelf, flipping for funds, who was the very first person to sign up for the Shelf membership. So thank you, Timmy, I appreciate it. Looking at all these tags on my shelves, I'm gonna blame Timmy for this, because he started this. <laughs> I'm of course kidding, but go check out his YouTube channel, Flipping for Funds. Uh, good, good person, good, good channel. Thank you very much, Tim. I appreciate it. Happy Holidays Special Edition Barbie, uh, 1995. One of the better looking Barbies, in my opinion. Love that green dress. Love that. I like. I'm starting to like green. I don't know. I mentioned green here a few videos ago, and green's always been my least favorite color, but the older I get more I'm liking green I don't know 
Uh, but this one ended up selling once again, $14.99 plus shipping, uh, total order, international sale, $47.29. That's crazy what people will buy, uh, spend on shipping these Barbies for international. It's crazy. But if you can't get them, what choice do you have, right? So $14.99 plus the shipping. All right, next order is one of these stamping up sets I got from the church sale. Let's see, Wonderful Worlds, I believe that's it. These older stamping up sets, the wooden blocks and also just the uh, rubber stamps, they're not as good as the photopolymer stamps that Kathy has sent me. Uh, but they do sell and I don't regret buying them. Like I bought a huge collection of them for 200 bucks. I think I had a dollar and a quarter, dollar and fee dollar fifty in each set somewhere in that range most of them are 10 to 15 bucks i did have a few good i've still got more to list i don't even have them all listed most of them 10 to 15 dollar range dollar a quarter dollar fifty not bad when you buy a huge collection like that but this is stamping up wonderful wonderful words that's a tongue twister uh wooden stamp set of four thank you celebrate friendship and love this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the last item going out, and I'm glad to finally sell this because I think this is the last of the built Lego sets I have going out. And there's the Lego set and also, oh boy, the manual. I bought, how many sets did I buy? Like six sets, I think, for like 40 or 50 bucks, something like that, I can't remember. So most of them pretty quick and uh, this is the last one I have left I think and anyways it is the DC Comics Superheroes Scarecrow Harvest of Fear the Harvester only I believe this set was supposed to come with the helicopter uh, the tractor and a few more figs for sure but this is all that I got but it is I think this right here is complete I believe I think but anyways he ended up selling this uh, the harvester only ended up selling for $19.99 plus shipping with the manual not bad I, I think I ended up selling about $200 out of that I think somewhere in that range so 50 into 200 not bad because most of it sold pretty quick I don't know why it took so long for this guy to sell because just finding the harvester only is pretty tough and he is super cool he does have the scarecrow mini fig love this guy 20 bucks plus shipping and i will ship it just like that and hopefully it don't fall to pieces all right it's kathy time <laughs> kathy sent me another package in the mail and one of the items she had in the box is this guy right here it's a minor league hat and i have forgot the team but i sewed this uh something isotopes i think i don't remember i'll have to look but i sold this exact hat that kathy sent me here a month or so ago something like that and the hat because they're fitted was seven and three eighths and i made a comment in the video oh, i would have kept that hat but my head is too big for that hat i must be the next size up well the next size up is seven and five eighths i mean that is just an awesome awesome hat kathy sent me this hat and a card love reading kathy's cards i bought the hat as a present for you i'm afraid it won't fit they were out of the next size up from tj's that's her son old hats and i searched everywhere for it if it doesn't fit please sell or give it away the rest is just stuff I threw in to fill out the package. Again, do what you want to with it, Kathy. And she did send me some other stuff. She sent me another 31 bag, uh, some Fiskars, something, <laughs> craft stuff. I just sold something. Uh, some watercolor pencils, uh, Jim Holtz uh, craft pack, and did Kathy send me this shirt? Yes. Yes, this Harley Davidson shirt. It's pretty awesome. I may keep this as well. It's my size. I believe I can wear that too. So I may keep that as well, Kathy. I always need shirts. 
but so I sewed this hat here a few months ago and the one I sewed did not fit me so she went out and bought me one <sighs> you're amazing Kathy you are amazing and it fits pretty darn good actually so thank you so much Kathy um, I appreciate it I gotta keep this one sorry guys <laughs> I gotta keep this one I uh, don't keep much stuff but this just means the world to me that what Kathy has done for me is just simply amazing you guys that watch my channel watch my videos all the time you guys know how much she has done for me how much she has sent me I do have a ballpark figure of how much she has sent me I don't want to say it on video because I know in the comments I get eight below uh, eight up but it's a lot but when she's sending me stuff uh, for my kids or for me personally that's a whole nother level to me that's a whole nother level uh, the stuff she sends me to sell as great as that is I mean that it, it means more to me when she personally sends me stuff so thank you so much Kathy you don't ever have to send me anything else you have done way 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 more than you should have way more like a year ago way more <laughs> two years ago way more I don't deserve any of it uh, but I love this hat uh, probably leave it hanging up in here somewhere um, but I will wear it from time to time too but I'm not gonna wear it out yard selling and stuff because I know me I'll get it sweaty and dirty and I just love that hat uh, I do have a few hats over here from friends that I have kept but thank you so much Kathy I sure do appreciate you you're amazing I don't care what you or anybody else says because Kathy always tells me she's not amazing but I believe she is so thank you so much Kathy sincerely 100% I appreciate you so much all right I have to get off that topic because I'll start tearing up out here <laughs> but anyways thank you guys uh, to everyone who has signed up for the channel membership John Winters the second Woody's comic chess and our good friends over at reseller information network go check out their YouTube channel if you want to especially if you're a new seller it's good information for anybody honestly but especially if you are a new reseller go check them out they will be glad to answer any of your reselling questions so good amount of sales going out uh three barbies i'm super happy about that that book was really good glad to get that sale that's a good sale those two books pretty good that book amazed me thank you again kathy i uh, got two of yours going out and then also the one from the church sale a couple of toys thank you ivan i appreciate it Thank you to everyone who watching. Remember, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, my channel is going to look a little different over the next few weeks. Uh, a lot of yard sale footage, a lot of Highway 127 footage, and not a whole lot of shop footage. So bear with me, be patient. Uh, I love making these videos. This is my favorite type of video to make, the what so videos. It's what I like to make. I know I could make more money on YouTube if I'd done more yard sale and garage sale footage i don't really enjoy that type of footage but every now and then i do enjoy filming during the highway 127 sale because there's so many yard sales but anyways so my channel will look a little different so stay with me if you are a regular viewer i sure would appreciate it and i hope you enjoy all the yard sale footage that's coming your way so thank you guys each and every one of you guys thank you to the new channel members thank you to all the old channel members you guys are amazing i'm running out of spots in the shop i'm gonna have to start raining my yard out or something <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching i sure do appreciate it old school picker <laughs>